Okay, hello everyone, Leo here, Chilean physician and science fiction author, and this video it's it's a special one because I mainly wanted to test out my new equipment because <laughs> I have a new microphone and a new webcam uh, to have a new a new setup and I didn't have the time the last few days to do this and right now Sunday Sunday afternoon Sunday night uh, after I just finished my medical stuff that I had to do for tomorrow now I'm, I'm, I'm doing some things with this I'm learning to use them so it's, I, I'm just having fun with this <laughs> let's see how it goes but in a way I'm gonna use this this video uh, to show you something that some people asked me to after I did a post on Facebook about a book but some people told me that they wanted a video so well, okay here it is <laughs> so I mean the the book itself that I want to show you here it's this one let me working on the focus of the camera so the important thing about this book it's a really cool one it's called El Dueño de los Astros or something like the Master of the Stars by Ernesto Silva Roman and what's cool about this is one that it's really hard to find it's probably the most valuable one that I have in my collection and two because it's from 1929 uh, from what we call the early period of Chilean science fiction and something that it's quite interesting about it it's that when I found it it was actually being sold mostly as something uh, as an art object, not a literary object, because of the illustrations that it had, that it has on the inside, that they are considered something very important. I am not an art expert, but uh, that's where I found it. So they were selling it because of the illustrations that are from someone called Welin, that I'm going to show you now. So this is the inside of the book. It's really old. Uh, so this is it. Well in and that's one of the illustrations. There are many inside and so but I wanted it for for the book <laughs> So I got it and Well something about the book just to tell you a little bit about it and why it's so cool Well, it's it's quite classic science fiction. I would say from from the 30s Once again, it's 1929. So that's something really interesting. I mean Asimov was like nine years old or I don't know Lem from Poland was like eight or something like that. I think that was about it. And, and the book itself, it consists of seven short stories. Most of them deal with the with the idea of a scientist that can be either uh, someone isolated from society, sometimes someone that is wise, but sometimes someone that can be evil. And also some of the stories, the, the, the last ones, uh, deal with some uh, complexities of the huge cosmos and one in particular was translated actually into into English so you can you can look it up on Google and it was published on Cosmos Latino by Andrea Bell I'm gonna show you something about it so you can read it in English and it's a short story the in English they say it's the death star in Spanish is el astro de la muerte if I'm correct let me just check uh, Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. El Astro de la Muerte. So the cool thing about this one is that it is about a rogue planet that's coming near Earth. And it has some effect on our vitamin D. And that makes a lot of people on Earth to grow uncontrollably. And it's a really cool scenario. And what's really nice is that at that time, 1929, um, we, uh, in terms of scientific development, had just recently uh, kind of understood, understand the, the, the role of, the, of vitamin D in, in the homeostasis of calcium. So it was something quite cool to write about at that time. And also the last one of these stories, it's also another one that it's not about the, the scientific figure, but it, it, it shows the creativity of the author. And it's one called The Vampires from Space. And I love this one, the last one. It has a Chilean and an Argentinian character. Uh, and, and it's about an alien invasion, but the aliens are completely invinc invisible. And they come here to feed from our blood, but they're completely invisible. So it's almost impossible to defeat them. And that's what it's about. And it's really interesting. Okay, so 
that's about it. El Dueño de los Astros. Um, I think I've told you enough about it. Only to, for a five minute video. <laughs> it's, it's not short enough still, right? I, maybe one day I'll be able to do a one minute video or something, I don't know. <laughs> this is a chill one, uh, a chill video, just to show you this one. Uh, again, so the interior, I don't know, just to show you some of it. I really love this one, so, as, I, as, I, as I've mentioned, like the oldest that I have, I think. And so if you remember, you can read one of this in, in English, and you can go to my website if you know Spanish uh, to read a long article. I mean, it's not long, but longer <laughs> that I wrote about the book itself. So, early period of Chilean science fiction, and that's it. Now, I have to go figure out how to edit my new equipment and stuff, so let's hope it, it works out. <laughs> You'll let me know. Okay, bye.